Fifty million dollars, girl. I know people do it. Wow, he made all that money from some stocks? Multiple stocks and crypto too. He did a few trades, girl, and he hit big. I'm proud of y'all. Hopefully he pays you back for getting the equipment and supporting him while he was jobless. Girl, he is my better half. I know he won't forget about me. Whatever you say, girl. <laughs> you know, men switch up on you when life gets better for them. That's true. Oh, uh, there he is right now. He's coming in. I'll talk to you later, okay? Melody. Baby, where can I put my things? Excuse me? Charles, I need you to get this woman out of my house so we can talk. Excuse me? You mean my house? Look, we don't even plan on staying here much longer. We just wait for the house to finish up. Your house? Charles, what are you doing? I'm kicking you out. What? So you need to find a place to stay. See, I'm up and you're stuck. I'm a rich man now. I can't be seen with you. This is sad. Girl, just leave. Charles, I work three jobs to support us. I even paid for the training to get you where you are today. Are you really going to throw me out? And we have so much history. Charles. Yes. Look, we don't have any time for your sad speech, okay? So just get your stuff and exit left. Are you really gonna do this to me? Charles, please! Now you making me mad. You know what? Get up. Babe, Charles, I'm just wait! Stuff to you where you're no, you Charles, no! Let's go! I'm making this a mile! A mile! This property has everything you wrote on your goal list. Family oriented, spacious storage everywhere, a pool, and a heated jacuzzi out back. That sounds nice and all, but I think I changed my mind. Well, why the change of heart? Well, I would like to change this property into a business for women who's in need of extended housing and living. I know what it's like to have no home and no plan. I don't wish that pain on anyone. That is a fantastic idea. I love that idea for this property because the previous owner, he did not appreciate this beauty. Really? Uh, he was a trading nerd who made it big and moved in with this god awful woman. Of course, he blew all of his money after a couple of months and this property's been on the market ever since. That sounds like someone I know. <laughs> anyway, when can I sign the papers? Anytime you want. Let me make a phone call. But listen, the owner is desperate, so I can probably negotiate a deal. That's why I love you, Dave. <laughs> hey, speaking of the owner, here he is. Charles, come meet your buyer. What? Hazel, you look amazing. This is the previous owner of this house? Yeah, you two know each other? No. Uh, yes, she was my ex. Don't do me like that. Excuse me? You got some nerve. Hazel, I'm gonna go call the contractors, okay? Charles, whatever she wants, you better give it to her. Like what? Like we want a lower price for this property. You've already driven the value down. No, look, I need that money. Please, you've been living in a half a star motel. You're in no position to be greedy. You gonna announce my business like that? Look. I'll give you $300,000 for this property. Nope. Too low. You owe me. You're right. And I'm sorry for leaving you with that girl Melody. And because of her, I'm all in this mess right now. Charles, I don't care. I just want the property. Can you just hear me out? No. You've burned every bridge that you could possibly build with me, Charles. I have no more patience to be cordial with you. I know. 
and I'm deeply sorry. You were the girl of my dreams, and I chased the girl that I thought was the next best thing. You made a choice, and now you have to live with the consequences of that choice that you made. I don't need your forgiveness. You need to make amends with yourself. Ask yourself why you keep getting caught up in all these dilemmas. You know, I was better when I was with you. And besides, how you were able to afford this property? Well, my fiance Nigel, he's in IT. So he developed the app for me called House Mom, so. Wait a minute, you're the owner of House Mom? What? My sister actually used that app when she got kicked out of the shelter. And they helped her out with emergency housing immediately. <laughs> yep. Wow. That's us. None of this would be possible if it wasn't for my fiance Nigel, so. Hmm, I must say. He's a lucky guy. Oh, he knows. You know what? I'll lower the housing price. And I'm sorry for the way I treated you. And I know you're about to do an amazing job with this place. And you were also there for me when my family turned their back on me. And that, I'll always appreciate you. Wait, Charles. I had someone counsel on me at the last minute. I need a live-in super and security on the property. It pays six figures. Really? You see me, I'm the man for the job. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I promise you I won't let you down. You won't regret it. You're welcome. I just really want you to take this opportunity to better yourself, okay? I really need this job. I really do. I, look, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have a deal? We have a deal. The sign of papers. Fantastic. <laughs> You should never be unfair, especially to people who are there for you. Karma is real, and what you put out comes back to you. Charles lost everything, and the woman he chose over his girlfriend, she walked away and left him. Here's what could have happened had Charles made better decisions. He's my better half. I'm sure he won't forget about me. Whatever you say, girl. You know, men switch up on you when life gets better for them. Oh, he's coming in like I call you back, okay? Okay, bye. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh. <sighs> we need to talk. What's going on? Well, we got an agent. Been looking for a house for us right now. And I plan on for us to be moving out in a few days. Baby, a house? See, this money has been such a blessing to us. And you have made my life better. So now I have the opportunity to give you whatever you want. Hazel, I love you. <laughs> oh, man. I love you too. And I'm so proud of you. I want a different life for us. Now, since I'm taking care of you and not the other way around. See, Hazel, with this money, I can help you get your business. I know you're smart. That will make me so happy. And can I help with the houses, please? I have an eye for these houses, and I can find us an affordable house, and you don't have to spend so much money. Of course, Hazel. You can do anything you love. I just want to see you happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alrighty, time is money. Now, are y'all ready to see the houses that I have for you? Yes, of course. Of course. Let's go to the living room. All right. The moral of the story is, trouble doesn't last always. Use the pain that you've endured as fuel towards a better future. Remember, forgiveness does not always require re-entry into your life and always protect your peace.